Welcome back to the Best Today YouTube channel. I'm Shante Grant, creator of the Best Today Guide and owner of the Best Today Company, where we equip women with resources to be proactive and intentional with your time. Today, we are gonna talk about laundry, right? So get ready to air all kinds of, no, 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 not that kind of dirty laundry. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about how routine can help you with a problem that I know many of you share and many of you have, and that is laundry. And so I wanna show you how routines can, among many of the things they can do, they can help to solve your problems right at home. And so today I'm gonna to give you five tips. The fifth one will apply to some of you, not all, so four to five tips to really help you apply routine to your laundry situation at home, whatever that may be, if you are the one who is in fact doing your laundry or someone in your home is in fact the one in charge of laundry. So if you're ready to talk about five ways or five tips to help you really take control of laundry in your home through the vehicle of routine, let's get started. Okay, so one rule number one, tip number one, let's call them rules, or unless you you start to get triggered by the word rule, we'll call it tip number one, and that is every person in the house, every human in the house has their own hamper. Even if they share a room, that means mom, that means whoever, that means every child, every adult gets their own hamper. Here's why. When you begin to implement a routine for your laundry, and I'm going to give you steps that makes it very easy to not only wash and dry, but the most important part, the thing most people actually don't get to, is the folding and putting away of laundry. If everyone has their own hamper, it's going to make it that much easier. I know when I walk into my son's room, and I pick up his hamper, although his hamper doesn't look like this. This is the hamper I use to actually move laundry from one place to another. I take his hamper and I'll either walk into the laundry room or I'll dump it into this collective hamper, dump it in here, put in the wash in the dryer. I know when I pull those clothes out of the dryer and put them back and put them back into this hamper, that all of these clothes have to be walked to the same place. They go back to the same exact room and not only the same room, the same drawer to be picked up. That's why every person has their own hamper. It just makes it so clear that these are such and such as laundry, this is such and such laundry. Let's say one of your children have to go out of town and you need to wash their clothes a little earlier than you normally would. You don't have to go in through some collective children's hamper and pull out their clothes. You just go to their hamper, you pick it up, this is their hamper. Or you tell them, go get your laundry and fold your, do your laundry, right? They know they go to their hamper, pick up their clothes, put them in the wash, put them in the dryer. It makes it very easy and I'm gonna tell you it works because my seven-year-old, well, not now, eight-year-old, has been doing this since she was six years old, okay? And it's really helpful because she has her own hamper. I have my own hamper. My son has his own hamper. Every human in the house has his or her own hamper. So that's the first rule. It's gonna make it very easy when you begin to go and do your wash, your dry, then put them in. You only have that one person's load, okay? So that is rule number one. If you're going to implement a laundry routine that really helps you, my first recommendation, my first tip for you is every human in the house has a hamper. It doesn't have to be a $50 hamper. It can be a dollar store hamper. Everyone just needs their own hamper. It can be a pretty basket, okay? Because we're not gonna let the laundry pile up um, anyway, so you don't need a huge hamper. You know, this hamper holds one week's worth of everybody's things. Like, So there's no need for me ever to use more than one hamper to put all the dirty clothes in. Even our towels, which get bulky over a week, one hamper per person, that's tip number one. Okay, time for tip, rule, recommendation, whatever word you wanna call it, number two. And I will say these all need to be followed in order for this to work. Um, so the second thing is you have to do the math. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. Let's write it down. Here's what I mean by do the math. I don't want to do laundry on the weekends. So that's two days, Saturday, Sunday. So I have five days to get laundry done, right? And that might sound like, man, that's awful. Why would you wanna do laundry five days? Because I do laundry for less than 15 minutes each day. For me, that's a lot better than hours over the weekend dreading it and putting it off or letting it suck into any time of my day. Really, I don't want to spend 10 out two hours or even an hour for that matter any day of the week doing laundry. And this is how you can avoid that. And then we'll get back and talk about how we turn this into a routine, okay? First, we got to talk about the steps we need. So when I say do the math is how many people are in your home? How many loads do you need to do each week? And what days do you want to avoid? Some people may say, I only want to do laundry on 
X day or this and this day, or I don't wanna do it this day. You have to do the math for you. Here's what it looks like for me to give you an example. I don't wanna do laundry Saturday, Sunday, so that gives me five days. Um, there are four people and then we also need towels and sheets. So everything gets a day. We have Towel Tuesday. Some people have Taco Tuesday. We have Towel Tuesday. And guess who knows Towel Tuesday? Every single human in my house. Every person knows on Tuesdays, the towels are gonna get washed, dried, folded, and put away. And all of that happens in 15 minutes or less. 15 minutes or less, because remember, we're only doing laundry for seven days because every week this happens every Tuesday. And so every Tuesday, everyone here knows they're gonna go looking for their towel and it's gonna be missing because it's in the wash and they need to go get a clean one or they're gonna have to wait, um, depending on what time of day it is, right? They know it's Towel Tuesday. I actually just heard my daughter saying that earlier this week. She was like, oh, it's Towel Tuesday. That's why my towel is gone. It's time to get a new towel. Um, so that looks like Towel Tuesday. Wednesday, I do my son's load. Thursday is my daughter's day. Friday is my laundry. So everyone has a day. And what that means is, am I getting into the next step? No, that's the next step. So that's it for do the math. You have to do the math to figure out how many loads a day or what days do I want to spread this out. For me, that looks like one load, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And again, sometimes Monday is optional. It depends on what things are looking like around here. But Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, one load each, 15 minutes or less, or less. And on Thursday, it's actually zero minutes. Um, for folding because my eight-year-old puts up her folds her own laundry um, and again she knows how to do that in 15 minutes or less because it's so simple I wash I dry and then she gets it and she folds it okay so do the math how many days a week does that look like for you what days that's tip number two okay tip number three rule number three recommendation number three whatever we're gonna call them is the commitment you've got to commit to wash dry and fold all in the same day you've got to commit to wash dry fold that's number three here's what i mean each day you already know each day monday through friday is a day for me i commit that when i wake up first thing i go to the laundry for the day before i even go and do that morning bathroom stuff like before you wash your breath wash your breath wash your teeth wash your face brush your teeth any of that good stuff take the load for the day pop it in the wash right by the time you are finished with your morning routine or whatever it is you do first thing in the morning it's going to be time to pop that thing in the dryer pop it in the dryer commit to i'm going to put in the dryer before your day even gets started you have clean laundry and then you need to commit to a time when you're going to actually fold it and put it away i guess i should put fold and put away that's really important so let's not forget that Commit to wash, dry, folding, and putting away in the same day. So here's another thing you can't, I will say, sometimes what I will do is I'll actually pop, um, let's say on Monday, I'll, I'll put the towels in the washing machine Monday night. So when I wake up, the first thing I do is instead of putting them in the wash, is putting them in the dryer. You can do that. And so that just gets me a little bit ahead in the morning. I just pop them in the dryer. I know the towels take longer to dry than any other day. So put those in the dryer and then commit saying, Every, however many you decide each day, but each time I do laundry, I'm going to wash, dry, fold, and put it away that day. Remember, it's a small load because it's only one week's worth. You may decide to do one person's load twice a day, you know, or twice a week. Particularly if you have young children who get messy and change clothes multiple times, you may say, okay, I'm going to wash um, Jennifer's laundry every Monday and Thursday. And guess what? It's such a small load because it's only for such a short period of time, right? We're never gonna go more than seven days without doing a load for each person in the house or each category, towels, sheets, you name it. Commit to wash, dry, fold, and putting away, okay? That's step number three. Let me make sure I'm not getting ahead. Nope, and now we're gonna go, I know why I didn't write fold here, put, put away here, um, because that's getting us over into number four. Let's talk about number four. Number four, fold the laundry in the place where the laundry actually has to go. This is really important. I have heard so many people say, you know, I wash the laundry, I dry the laundry, I put it, put it over there on the couch. I just, it just fold, it just piled up on the couch. If the clothes don't go on the couch, don't fold the clothes on the couch. Fold the clothes in the place of where they go. So what does that look like on Wednesday when I fold my son's clothes? I take them out of the dryer. I walk into his room. I pull up his little ottoman, the little um, foot seat for his chair. I sit on it. I sit in front of his drawer and I fold his clothes and I put them in the drawer. 
I don't get up until all of the clothes are in the drawer. So that takes less than 15 minutes because I'm not going from room to room. I'm not saying, okay, who's, who's, whose sock is this? Who's, who? Whose stuff is in this? Who's, who's is this? Oh, okay, I folded the clothes. Okay, let me go run over here. Oh, but hold on, that goes over there. Oh, hold on. Oh, but this goes in the kitchen. Oh, take that over to the, oh, hold on. That's why you don't want to do laundry. That's exhausting. Fold the laundry in the place where the clothes go. And this is another reason why we fold, everyone has their own hamper. Because again, even if people have the same room, chances are they have different places where their clothing go. So I know everything in this basket goes in this one place, even if it's some go in a closet and some go in the drawer, it's in the same room. So fold the clothes where the clothes are supposed to go. I'm checking my notes, making sure I told you all the right stuff. Yes, um, my daughter, she folds her laundry in her room because that's where the laundry goes. Um, I fold the towels. Yeah, I fold my towels right in front of the hall closet, right? So I don't even go and say, oh, let me watch TV in my room. I used to do that. Let me watch TV in our room, which is right next to the hall closet mind you but then i'll start watching tv and then i'll remember oh you know i forgot i need to do that thing if i'm standing right in front of the hall closet the only thing i'm thinking about is the hall closet and the fact that that's where the towels go fold your clothes where they go so i stand in front of the hall closet sometimes they just sit on the floor i fold the towels i put them up and until the basket is empty and in less than 15 minutes voila all of the laundry for the day has been completed and again wash dry and fold collectively those three things take 15 minutes or less it's a no-brainer i'd gladly give that 15 minutes a day than hours and hours any other point in the day okay so let's go over some of the rules we've talked about so far number one every human in the house gets their own hamper number two you have to do the math and figure out how many days you want to do um, your laundry and whose laundry gets done on what day choose your day we like to be festive and do towel Tuesday over here um, but number two is you do the math and figure out what days will be whose days and how many time, days a week that looks like for you based on what it is you want I didn't want to do weekends so that left me with five days I didn't necessarily have to choose all five days but I do one load each day number three commit to wash dry fold and put away and when you put away number four Fold in the place where the actual or the clothes actually go. Okay, so those are the first four, and I've got one five, one fifth rather, uh, a bonus for that will apply to some of you. Want to hear it? Let's talk about it. Number five is if you have them, get your children involved. Um, like I mentioned, my daughter's been folding her own laundry since she was six. When she was six, I was in there helping her, teaching her how to fold. Was it going to look exactly how when I fold? No. Did I care? No, because it's going in her drawer and she's going to be the one picking out her clothes in the morning and what she's going to get or on the weekends when we would pick her clothes for the week. But that's a whole nother routine and a whole nother video. Um, but now that we're at the time of this recording doing virtual school, she's picking her own clothes because she's just going downstairs for school. Um, but she knows how to take her laundry. So her day is Thursday. On Wednesday nights, when she's being proactive, she will take her laundry and put it in the laundry room so it'd be ready for Thursday morning because she knows that's going to help her get ahead, particularly if I wash her load at night, put it in the dryer. Because here's the reason why I do Thursday is because it's the final day of the week where our nanny is here and she wants to have that time to play with her after school. And so, but she has to do her laundry first. So it makes her want to get her laundry done first, earlier, faster. Come on, mom. So we got to use those noggins, right? So it works out really well, but she's been involved in that. She's helped me fold towels before, but now that she's taken on folding her own laundry, I do the towels myself. But she used to help me just with doing the towels before she started doing her own laundry because taking a little washcloth and folding it in two halves was something very simple I could get, teach her how to do. And as soon as my son is of age, he's gonna learn how to do the same thing. Help starting with the folding the little towels, really, really simple and easy until he gets to his own laundry, just like I did with my daughter. So get them involved with the laundry. And sometimes, like I said, on Thursdays, all I do is wash and dry. That's taking an entire load off my hands every single week. So and she, not that she's excited about it, but she knows that it's coming. It's routine, it's the same every week, same day, same process. You put your your clothes in the laundry room, I will take care of them. She even has gone so far as starting to ask if she can put them in the washing machine on her own. So you can tell, you can start to see that ownership also of that. So. The fifth tip is if it applies to you and your children clearly are of an age that they can do that, is get your children involved. And so let's talk a little bit about 
how we take these tips and create some type of routine. As you know, if you've watched the videos, which I will link below, uh, where I talk about visually a visual routine of what uh, a visual example of what routine is, um, the video before this week's video was about examples of routines. I'll also link below some podcast episodes where we talk about routine. But routines are simply a flow of actions that help you to be proactive and intentional with your time. If you, first of all, doing all of these things, you're going to send these as steps that's teaching you to be proactive, making sure everyone has their own hamper, designating which day I'm going to do what load um, each week, and then committing to saying, I'm going to wash, dry, fold, and put everything away in the, in the place where it goes, um, and letting your children in on that where that makes sense for you in on that routine is going to bring harmony in your home. It's going to help you relieve some of the angst and just the blech that you feel about laundry. And so we're gonna build this in a routine by creating these steps um, and saying, this is what it's gonna look like each week, okay? So I'm gonna give you, what do I have here? Four things to help you start thinking about building this into a routine, okay? Okay, the first thing I want you to decide is um, what day is gonna be what? How Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm going to do this load. Thursday, I'm not going to do any loads. Maybe Thursday is a day you have a lot of extracurricular activities in the evening. Make sure you take those things into consideration when you're trying to build this routine. Don't pile it on on a day where you already have a lot of things going on. So the first thing you do is decide which days are going to be for which activity. Okay, that's number one. Number two, I want you to then decide when are you going to put things in the wash, when are you going to put them dry, and when are you going to fold. Here's something I meant to mention when we talked about putting them away. Schedule that before four o'clock, really before three if you can. Here's why. The longer you get into your day, the closer you get into evening and dinner and winding down, the less likely you're going to actually put your laundry away. The more you're gonna dread it, which is the more you're gonna put it off, which means the next day is gonna come and you've got a pile of laundry sitting there. And then you've got a new day to add on to it. And guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna be so frustrated and discouraged and blah, and then you're gonna have this mountain which really defeats the purpose of doing this routine where we're taking bite-sized, smaller loads and getting them done in 15 minutes or less in our homes, okay? Maybe a little bit bigger if you have a bigger family or, um, but we're doing every seven days, you know? So unless you change clothes like 10 times a day, this really is gonna be very simple, 15 minutes or less. So schedule those times and honor them. Say, I am going to do this load, I'll use myself on Tuesdays, I'm washing towels. I'm putting them in the washing machine first thing in the morning, putting them in the dryer right before I start my workday, and I'm folding it at three o'clock right when my workday ends. That's how I set mine up. That way it's not even a, when will I fold these towels? Mm, not when I feel like it, cause that's never, but I've told myself early first thing in the morning, right before work, put in the dryer, and then typically I have to go back in and clink it up and let it dry a second round, cause towels. Um, and then the third thing is I'm gonna put them up right at three o'clock. Knock it out. Some days I may say I'll do four o'clock because we'll go for a walk first, just to kind of break up the day, get, go for a walk. As soon as we come back in for a walk, four o'clock, I'm folding. But have those times and commit to it, right? So the first thing was assign the day. The second thing was know what day you're gonna do what. And the third thing is to schedule a time of the day so you know when you're going to wash, dry, fold, and put away. And let's be clear, fold and put away happen together. So we're folding, you can fold them all and then put them away, or you can fold and put, fold and put. You can decide, it depends on what you're doing. Sometimes one makes more sense than the other, but we're doing this collectively. This isn't a, like I fold them and then I come back 30 minutes later and then I put them away. These go together, let's, let's circle them. Fold and put them away are peanut butter and jelly. They're chips and queso, they go together. Um, yeah, chips and queso, I think that's a stronger one, right? Chips and queso, fold and put away, stays together okay and then my last tip i'm looking at my notes to make sure i miss anything is make it fun here's something i do to make it fun i will put on my favorite tunes while i'm folding my load and i want to see can i get this done in three hamilton songs you know can i beat last week can i get it done in two hamilton songs it depends on which two but i'm jamming i'm jamming while i'm also folding laundry i'm jamming i'm jamming this is me folding laundry if you can't tell i'm not voguing um but I'm listening to music while I'm folding laundry or I'm, I'll use that as a chance to watch something on Hulu um, because again, make it fun, particularly if it's something that you don't love. And you know, I know it's not my favorite thing in the whole world, but I like the routine that I have set up because I know it's gonna take me such a small portion of my time, which then frees up so much more time 
to live, to laugh, to run, to play, to skip, to make videos for you. Um, that's the beautiful thing about routine. They free your time. They're so free. I mean, I don't know why I felt like dancing, but I just wanted to show like routine. They really do free. Uh, they just free up your time and your space. And I hope that looking at this one, um, one of millions of ways you can implement routine um, when we're talking about laundry will help you as you start to think about how can you create routine that works for you. Now, I also want to make sure I share with you, if you're like, okay, I understand all of this, but how do I put it together in a routine that works for me? I'm so glad you asked. I want to teach you my taco method for how to create routine. And I teach that in one place and one place only, and that's in Right Now Routine, which you can join by going to rightnowroutine.com. The beautiful thing is at rightnowroutine.com, you can also read the testimonials of, well, I think we have testimonies of over 20 different people, 20 different women, but we have hundreds, really at this point, thousands of testimonials of women who've gone through Right Now Routine, taken Right Now Routine, and really seen change in their lives from creating one little taco, T-A-C-O, the method I teach you on how to create a routine that lasts and sticks. And I want that to be the same for you. So make sure you go to rightnowroutine.com. We'll also link it below and learn how to create routines that last. Not only routines around things like your laundry, but think of other areas in your life where you're like, I wish I had more time to do this, or I wish I create could create space for this. This is a problem in my house. This is a problem at work. This is a problem that I have. There are so many times routine can be the answer to a lot of the things that we complain about, a lot of the things we say we don't have time for. So allow routine to come in and free, this is my, my physical expression of free, free up time and space in your life. If this video was helpful for you, two things I want you to do. One, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the next video. And two, did I say two first? One, subscribe. And two, share this video with a friend and maybe you each, each other can hold each other accountable and we're talk, when we're talking about laundry. Of course, you can come over to the Best Today community. Um, at besttodaycommunity.com, our mem monthly membership or annual membership, you can sign under each way. And that's also going to be a great place to come and find the support that you may need when it comes to routine or really anything on your journey of being proactive and intentional with your time. We'll link that below as well, the membership. Um, also, I'll note while we're talking about the membership that when you order a Best Today Guide or a starter bundle from Best Today Guide um, from the Best Today Company, you actually get your first month in our membership for free. That feels like a lot of information, so guess what? Just read below. I put it all there for you, but the first step is to get a handle on routine and learn how to create your taco to create realistic routines that work for your life, and you can do that by going to rightnowroutine.com. Before I go, let's go over these five things one more time. Make sure everyone in your home has their own hamper, okay? Number two, do the math and figure out how many days you need to do laundry based on the goals that you have or the things that you do or do not want to do. Mine was, I don't want to do laundry on the weekends. Commit to wash, dry, fold, and put away. Remember, these two happen together. Fold in the place where the clothes go, and if it works for you and it's applicable, get your children involved, okay? I'm so excited for you. Let me know, tag me as you're doing your 15 minutes of laundry over on Instagram. I'm at Shantae Grant, and we are at The Best Today Brand on Instagram. We love, that's the one place on social that we hang out outside of here on our YouTube channel. So if you'd like to show us your progress or always email us at besttoday at shantaygrant.com. We'd love to see pictures of you doing your laundry routine because we tend to get excited about stuff like that. Thanks so much for watching this video. Again, check below. We've created, um, we've put links to help you with everything that I've referenced here, as well as some other videos that we think might be helpful to you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye. Hey, did you know that we have a podcast, The Best Today Podcast, with brand new episodes airing every single Monday? Go to besttodaypodcast.com, but the good news is, while you're here, we actually have every episode right here on YouTube as well. So, if you'd like to listen to The Best Today Podcast, there is an episode waiting for you. Visit besttodaypodcast.com or listen right here on YouTube. That's besttodaypodcast.com or listen right here on YouTube. Enjoy! Enjoy!